What's up everyone? It's Carlos with Toy Gigante. Hey, we got a lot of work to do. Check this out. My friend gave me, well he didn't give me this fan. He lent it to me to fix up. To see what I can do with it. So, um, let's get started. I was thinking also, <clears throat> why not make it an RC car? So I picked this up. At the uh, local Target, I'm gonna open that up, and we're gonna basically put these two and two together and make something. First things first. Let's open this up and see what we have. It's made by uh, New Bright, and I picked it up at Target. I think it was about twenty dollars, something like that. Affordable price. It's a little RC car. Um, really nice for what it is, and uh, we're gonna have to cut it up though for this project. Well, let's start by um, oh, here's what this looks like it's a nice, cheap, there's springs on the front, but the suspension's not moving around. I wonder why. I wonder if it's something here. I'll have to read the instructions later. Maybe it goes like that. Here we go. A little suspension. Really nice little Jeep. First thing I gotta do though is take out these screws, it looks like. So I can take the top off and install my vamp. There we go. Here's the top. Okay. Now we have a base to work with. Now, how are we going to get this onto here? So, what I'm thinking is we need to widen this vamp up. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get rid of this area first. I'm going to cut it out. And I think I'm going to cut it around here with my little hacksaw blade. I'm going to cut this area like this so we get a nice cut piece and then we're going to make a new piece out of styrene. So first of all, this is what I'm going to do. It's all about being careful with your tools because they are sharp. And uh, just going for it. So that's what I did. I scored it a little bit and I'm going to break it off. So this is what I have. I have the front area of my vamp. So this is what we're looking at. It's cool, but I think I want to do like maybe do a little bit of a wider area so all I'm gonna do is cut it in half so I'm gonna get the center area it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put styrene over it but that is what I'm going to do I'm gonna measure it and then I'm gonna start cutting the area in half. always be careful Cutting, of course, like I said. Just take your time, and you'll be okay. And you'll be okay. I got this little saw at my hobby store. You can probably get it at a hardware store. Just a good little saw to have. It's one of my tools. Now, what we're doing. I'm gonna get this, and now, like how wide do we want this piece? Do you wanna go this wide? I think I like it around here. So it's gonna be about this wide. I think I like that. So, next thing I wanna do, 
I have a piece of styrene. Pick this up at my um, hobby store. Made by Evergreen. Open this up. Again, I want to take a look at how wide I want this piece. So, it looks like I'm going to do about, let me see, make it about two, two inches. First thing is first, I'm going to put a piece here for the front area. I'm gonna put a piece right here. So this is gonna be my front end. And I, I wanna save this little detail, so I'm gonna work around it. So I have to see how wide this is. I'm going to just eyeball it and make a little marker right here. And I'm gonna cut that. So let's do that. Okay. So now we have this piece right here. And then we are going to cut a little area because I want to keep that detail. And then we're going to have this. So now it's a wide piece. I have a little uh, sand uh, sandpaper file thingy. You can get these anywhere. It's good to uh, make your piece look nice. Um, thing you want to do is take your time, of course and make it look as factory as possible. You wanna make it look like um, like this thing was always uh, part of this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, is in a moment I'm gonna glue it together with, I have some Zappa Gap medium, and I'm gonna put these pieces together in just a few minutes. Let me see here. See that piece right there? I'm gonna sandwich this with this. So we are gonna have a wider front end, all, all, all around a wider vamp to fit our RC vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead, get out my trusty Zappa Gap, medium strength, and uh, get to work on gluing. Gluing, um, my tip with gluing is you don't need a lot. I'm going to put four drops right here. Four little drops. That's all you need. Don't go crazy with the glue. It's not necessary. This way, also, it'll make it uh, last much longer. There we go. That's what we want. Very good. So, so far, takes time, but so far this is what we have, okay? And now, the next thing to do is make the top pieces. So it's, uh, again, measuring, I already have this piece, so I know how wide I need to go, which is about three inches it looks like. So next thing I wanna do is cut some pieces to uh, put this together. First thing I'm gonna do though, is I want to save this detail. Where is my pen? See, I'm all unorganized today. So what I want to do is make a little mark here. You can mark it if you want. And then I'm gonna mark right here, and this is what I need to cut. I'm gonna glue these pieces together. Once again, you don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit. We are getting places now, we are getting places. So as you can see, I'm using a vehicle that's that's seen better days. I always try to find 
uh, projects where the vehicle is just destroyed because I don't I do not like to take a, a nice looking vehicle and ruin it these vehicles are getting up there in age and uh, and so am I <laughs> so they're becoming harder to uh, to find so we got to respect these little toys you know these are little pieces of art okay so got this so now more cutting and I'm going to attach my little piece that I just cut make it look nice and presentable line it up nice there we go very good One more piece is needed for this area, and we are good to go. Let's do that. What do you think so far? What do you think, huh? We're getting there, huh? Oh, let me move this button out of the way. Yeah, let me move this this button out of the way right here. Let me let me move this this button out of the way. <laughs> so um, now we just have everything else to do because we we widen this out, but now we have to do the back area. We're gonna have to make it happen. Okay, so I just thought of something. Since I don't want this piece, this be the, the the center or the area where it should be, but I think I like it over here. So this isn't gonna work. So I'm thinking I should bring the windshield back a little bit. Since I already widened it, why not do that? So, what I need to do then is bring it back about an inch. So I'm going to build an area right here out of styrene, of course, to, to do that. I think I want to bring it back this much. So that the windshield goes back right around Cut out here. A couple little pieces and I'm going to glue these on. It kind of looks like oopsie kind of looks like this but since we have a lot of square shapes I think it'd be nice like here's a little bit of a rounded edge I think it'd be nice to to round the edges a little bit so let's do that just to make it look um, more presentable when I make these projects, I don't really um, plan, plan, plan. I'm just kind of going about it and seeing what looks good, what works, and I think this looks good. So, I think this would make sense. In the G.I. Joe world, you gotta have a little bit of curves. Especially all the Cobra vehicles. I've noticed a lot of curves with those a lot of snake like features and things like that where the uh, GI Joe is more military more square shapes more um, has to do more with uh, real military vehicles that's why I like the Cobra vehicles as well because it's fantasy you know so I want to bring it out about here so before I do that it's a good idea to mark where I want place this and mark the other one because I don't want uneven pieces so that's right there and that one's right there too so right there okay so I'm gonna mark it 
we're bringing a toy that was on its last leg and we're bringing it back stronger than ever. Hopefully better than ever too. There we go. I put a little glue here just in case. A couple of drops on the bottom end. And even though you won't see this, you can see how much work we've done. Usually I take forever and I clean every little piece. But I will do that later for, for the sake of the video. I'm just kind of rushing through it a little bit. And now we have a nice front end so far. Now I have this piece and I made a little, I cut these little extra pieces of styrene that I had to make a bracing for the bottom because you do not want this to come off. So all we have to do now is glue it together. Okay, and now we have a nice piece that goes like this. And when we widen out this windshield, we will be able to have the windshield go back like we wanted to before. Okay. So, what do you guys think so far? And remember to take your time. You can have really clean work if you do that. Notice how I was able to Make the little curves right here. Make them nice, little round edges. It's coming out really clean. And when you paint it, which that's um, that's when the magic happens. It all comes together really nice. So. Cut it about that much. I want evenness on the other side. I'll cut right around here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'll cut this off. Cleaning up the work, make it look nice. So now, I'm gonna have to find a way to put this in here. And my bracing has uh, has gotten in the way, so I'm just gonna cut out this piece right here. There you go. I added this, had some uh, styrene, round styrene rod, and I glued it, cut it, and glued it. Looking good. Lots more to do. Stay tuned.